Hello there. In this video, I want to go look on AI retouching plugins from retouch for me They provide a wide variety of all of these different plugins. We just look on some of them. Let's go ahead right now. We inside the Photoshop and right here I have three different files. One, you can see the portraits of the figure kind of a little bit more far away. Then we have a little bit more close up portrait and we have it unedited the portrait without makeup. So let's go ahead and start on this. Usually when you start retouching, you have some blemishes in the skins. Depend on your approach, you maybe want to totally remove them or you maybe want to dim them out. And it may take some time to do this. However, it's really nice if you have a tool that is take all this routine work away from you. And with the AI and how well it's worked, it's actually not that hard. It's pre perform very good task, this routine task, not creative task for you. So for this, we're going to use the retouch for me. And I did install the panel. And this is panel. If you go to retouch for me, you'll notice right here free. And you can see the retouch for me panel and frequency separation. Even if you don't purchase anything, I will highly recommend to get that because the frequency separation work excellent if you want to go retouch the stuff. Okay, so for now what I'm going to do is click retouch for me and for this we'll go to filter, retouch for me and we'll go heal. Notice I can access from here or I can just go in the panel and click. So it just depends what you like it. This is a little bit easier I think. Okay, so right here is completed. Let's preview. This is before, this after. You saw how with one click we remove a lot of stuff and clean up. Yeah. Of course, we do have it some bigger one points that AI does not recognize. It's maybe a skin tone and it's very normal just to leave them here. But you notice overall it did a very great job, very good job to actually clean up and remove the zits. And again, this is was with one click. The big benefit of using plugins that you can automate it. Sometimes when I need to process hundreds to hundred photos at a time, I can actually create my script right and allow the machine going and perform that routine task that I don't need to do. So let's next step, what usually we'll do, we want to and create the skin, the skin tones. For this one, we'll again just clip and create it. And this will read the file below, which is kind of done very nicely, and create optimizations for the coloring. This, uh, for example, right here, we don't see the big difference on our skin, but sometimes you'll have it a red like nose, red cheeks or other things, and the skin tone allowed us to kind of make it look smoother. Yeah, I don't see that different here that much because we kind of a little bit more in tone, but general, this is what we'll do. The next I want to do dodge and burn. And here's our effect. Let's look closer and see how well it done. Look right here on this face. If we untable, you can see those dark areas. I think dodge and burn actually did a very good job on the retouching face. So right here again, before and after. So next, what we want to do it is add some portrait volumes. And this is should help create this depth. Usually when we're creating dodge and burn, we can create dodge and burn three different layers. One is to fix it, kind of bring the general shape. Another one is to bring a little bit more depth because um, our image, the colors do nothing. Seriously, it does not give it us that information of the shape of the object. Luminosity channel or black and white, that is what majority give it us a shape of the object. And right here, it's what we needed. We need to bring this in. One thing keep in mind, it does not replacing you as an artist. It's just another tool help you to overcome that routine things that you need to do over and over. In some cases, people just outsource this for somebody else to do. But in this case, you just can select one click and done. Or you can go on a panel, just click, 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 click right there, select, run all and it will run them in nicely. OK, so let's go ahead and now we'll click on portrait volumes to create it. And if we look, you can see it's add depth. It's actually did a very good job on adding depth. Look on that lips right there. Same as a side and nose. Okay, if we go look on the file itself, you can see it's add very nicely and very fast was most important. It's a recognized face. 
AI re recognize the positioning and add another shadow and highlight. So it did actually a very, very good job on this. Okay, let's go ahead and back. At this time, we have our portraits, dodge and burn, skin, heal. They depend if you have it shiny, and I have it so many times, problems, people going and they have it shiny skin or other things. I do like actually the modifier. This is what, what it does. This is plugin. It's take it and it's remove some of the shininess. It's work excellent for bringing this nice, beautiful tone. And you can see right here, it's, we actually don't have this highlights too high on a skin. Just a little bit, maybe on a nose right here, a little bit. But it does kind of smooth, take all these extra highlights and remove them. Um, again, it's work very good if you have it um, some very shiny skin, kind of very open skin, and you want to remove some of this artificial highlights, make it more natural look. The modifier is very good for that. As well, we have it all other plugins that I don't need run right now. Usually after this, it's how I say it's automated. You can see it's all run together. Let's go ahead and select group them. We'll call this AI retouching. And this is our portraits before and after. You can see how fast and easy. Again, if you have a large collection or you just want even the retouch in this case, you can very easy just take those plugins, run through all of them, and they will make for you ready. So at this point, what I usually do, I maybe create another layer and I create multiple layers, even same retouching. So it's helped me to separate and we'll call this touch up. Okay. Then we're going to select our healing brush and I'm going just healing brush tool so I can sample as well. And a little bit right there, you can see we still have this redness. We'll go alt select skin and just a little bit touch up very fast in this area, smooth out. It is should be performed actually quite a bit fast because we already done majority of work already done for us, which is kind of nice in this case. And we'll just like a little bit touch up here. Let's touch up right there. What I do, I press Alt or Options, sample the texturing. This is, think about this, it's a localized um, frequency separation stuff. And you can see we can just a little bit touch up. And other things, let's go create new layer. And this one will fill up with 50% gray. This is will be dodge and burn as well. And mostly this is dodge and burn. It's more artistic, how I say before, whatever AI does, it just prepare for you. It just pre prepare like if you're painting oil and you usually need to prepare the canvas. So you're putting stuff on top. This is what it does. It's imagine this is canvas and AI just prepare for you. So at the, after this, you can go ahead and start painting more in, in a, in a way you like it. So right here, I'll go select it, add a little bit more drama. This is actually create and like this highlights. Remember, it's kind of took it, reduce, and I don't, I like it, but I want to add my own highlights just in specific areas. Right there. Okay, there you go. Before and after. So you can see how much it's changed. And it's the time it's took literally if I without explaining anything, it's take a couple of minutes and you're done. You're done from this portrait, you come to the very nice presenting. Next step, of course, for you, it's apply coloring, apply some other effect to this. But general, that is what nice about plugins. They take all these jobs that is routine job you don't want to do and do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and another right there. And you can see this image look a little bit flat. Again, what we want to do in this case, we'll just go open. And I want to go click this skin tone portrait volume. I think those ones will work just fine right now. And we'll just go click and click run. And this day, it will take all of this 
in the order I was selected and will run them for me. Okay, after completed, we can we should have it our heal and everything. So let's go ahead and look over again. So right there is our original image. Let me bring closer to the face to preview. This is our heal. As I say we don't see too much. It's right there some elements, and we can actually click and preview which ways was it touching. Okay, and some small elements. As I said the makeup is quite a bit here, so we don't need to worry about this. And You'll notice this it's AI who did this job. So I don't necessarily need to go and tell, hey, remove in those areas. This is what powerful um, and great tool will do. It's analyze specifically what designed for, perform that routine job for you, and you can do next step. So right here is our dodge and burn. Let's go switch to the normal to preview. You can see a little bit highlights applied just in the right places. So we don't want it. Um, Minimize kind of fix some of the shadow right here under eye. You can see how it's fixed some and right there. Same with the cheek actually done a very good job. Skin tone. Um, it won't be seeing on this image because we don't have it that big contrast with due to the makeup other things. I need to find the image where we have it like red skin elements and this will perform very well. And now we have a portrait volume. You definitely can see how it's add depth a little bit more. And of course, after this, what we need to do is just going and retouch, used artistic retouch for this as well. So let's look how it will perform on our bigger project here. And I don't have the cleanup background or fabric, um, the plugin. You can buy those plugins separately if you want it. I have it only a few of them, but right here, fabric example, if you try to run, what is perform, it's run through the plugin, but it will term if you don't have it element and it's bring you to that website so you can purchase by the way if you're interested in purchase i have it um we'll post a special discount code for you so you can have it um way less pay than what's is right now so you'll have it a good nice discount to purchase this plugins if you decide to use it personally i do use them um because they help me minimize and how I approach to does the plugin work for me or not. For example, if I have it process 100 images, 100 photos I need to process, and I spend about 20 minutes on each photo or 15 minutes, let's say 15 minutes, okay, on a photo to process this task that I can just automate, then I multiply it's 150, it's a 1,500 minutes, and you divide this and it says, okay, I'm spending about 400 dollars that I can earn I spending to do those routine jobs beside the tire me they remove my creativity because there is, then I will say okay I'll purchase this plugin because it will compensate for my work um, you can purchase for fun but basically I see this is more for the professional level when you are retouching when you're professional photographers I think these tools is almost like must have okay so let's go ahead and right here you saw the fabrics it's what happened general fabrics will remove it i don't usually use it this for the fabric same like clean background may be used in some cases but not in this case but will be same element if you click on clean background um it's actually when to analyze and if it does not exist it will take you to the website so you can purchase this or try okay so let's go ahead we'll go to select this I will use it the modifier because I know some highlights like in this area, so I want to reduce them. Dodge and burn, skin tone, portrait. So we'll go all of this selected. You can also have it like skin mask. In this case, it's very nice. It will mask all the skin tones. And it's not just going by the color because it's used with AI. It's actually recognized objects, recognize the um, what is selected, hands, all the stuff, and will select by this, which is nice. And the same white teeth, this, I don't really um, use those, but for the close portraits, they actually work very well. As well, remove redness from the eyes and other elements. So we'll select, let's go ahead, click run. And right here is our image completed. So let's, let me go ahead and select this image. I'll go group them together. And you can see it does effect on the ground, did very nicely. Add some effect as well. This recognized ways our portraits. And look how beautiful it's actually fixed porches before and after even in small details it still does very very nice job of cleaning 
and selecting this way. By the way, if you go from point here, it will go with a preset, but you're not just only locked to use this way. So let me go ahead and select the portrait. And if we're going to the filters, retouch for me, you'll notice right here we have we can access them separately. So what's happening if I go to heal, you'll notice it will open panel for me so I can fine tune and readjust how I want it. And right here, for example, our panel, you can see we have options to enable disable sensitivity, how much we want on the selection. And this gives us preview of this retouching. Where does it find how much sensitivity we want it? This sensitivity will pass through if you do automation as well. Also make mask list. It's what we wanted applied. Not that much select, but also we have it close up portrait, health or full portrait. Right now it's after and it will select. I noticed that after work very well in this case. So you can do separately. You can go and manually adjust if you have it uh, some effect too much or not enough. You can process this. But most time what I found even with the AI recognition system, if it's a recognized person, close up, whatever, and also recognized with all those things, it's worked very well. It's actually give it a very nice result in most cases. Again, it does not replace you as the photographer, as the retoucher, as the creator. This is just another tools to help you um, don't waste time on the small details that is a routine and more focus on the creative point on the message you want to deliver. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I will put a link below for a special discount if you decide to buy this uh, retouch for me uh, plugins. Hopefully you find this useful and let me know what you think. Have a great day.